explaining every brawler in one sentence. Shelly, she's always either broken, or no one uses her. Nita, broken in heist, decent or bad everywhere else. Colt, he has one of the most unnoticeable star powers in the entire game. Bull, no one uses him, but he's actually pretty decent in heist. Brock, he got the most unnecessary remodel. El Primo, he's one of the most iconic characters, yet no one uses him. Bully, probably the most forgotten thrower. Poco, he's still one of the best healers, just please don't use the second star power in 3v3s. Rosa, actually one of the most decent tanks in the game. Jessie, she has one of the most annoying supers in the entire game. Dynamite, you can either use him as a skilled player in 3v3s, or throw the stun gadget at people in showdown. Tick, one of the most annoying brawlers to play against, but so weak when you play him. Mate Bit, one of the best designs in the game, but they still couldn't release a good permanent skin under 149 gems for him. Rico, he can be used very well, but most people use him to make bad trick shots. Daryl, probably the most forgotten brawler in the game. Penny, even after a full rework, she's still bad. Cull, he gets so many skins, but never a good buff. Jackie, she has one of the best voice lines and skins in the game. Gus, he's really unique, but also forgotten. Bo, if he's in the enemy team, your teammates always run into his minds placed on the heist safe. EMZ, one of the most annoying brawlers to deal with, and her hypercharge makes it even worse. Stu, who thought that having infinite supers as a mutation will be a good idea. Piper, she was one of the hardest characters to master, now she's the most skillless sniper in the game. Pam, people waited for her remodel for years, since she got it, no one really talks about her. Frank, he literally got one buff and broke the game. BB, went from one of the most liked characters to one of the most forgotten ones. B, after getting a new ability, second star power, second gadget, she gets really op, and then she gets nerfed and becomes bad. Nani, with her super you can either save the match, or just waste it. Edgar. Griff, he's kinda like the better version of Colt. Grom, please give this man a good permanent skin under 199 gems. Bonnie, they still haven't changed her second star power. Gale, his slow star power is very good, but people barely use him. Colette, half of the community is so down bad for her. Bell, probably the most balanced sniper in the game right now. Ash, went from S tier to trash tier. Lol Lola, does anyone even use her anymore? Sam, he was one of the most broken tanks on release, no one really plays him now. Mandy, she has the most menacing looking super, but it's actually not that strong. Maisie, she has one of the most boring kits in the game, with a really boring personality. Hank, he was prawn ready on release, then a month later they nerfed him to death. Pearl, the only memorable thing about her is her mastery title. Larry and Laurie, one of the most unique and likable characters in the game. Angelo, the zestiest brawler in the game, they also changes their pronouns every patch. Mortis, you're either really good with him, or extremely trash. Tara, she's the most mysterious brawler, also she has one of the best star powers in the game. Jean, the goofiest character in the game. Max, she has one of the best skins in the game, also her mastery title is underrated. Mr. P, his super is more annoying than Jesse's, but less useful. Sprout, he was breaking Brawl Ball and Heist on release, also he has one of the worst hypercharges. Byron, the most annoying thing about him is when you want to attack an enemy, but your full HP teammate stands in front of you. Squeak, he literally has the lowest pick rate in the game right now. Lou, not gonna lie, he fell off really quickly. Ruffs, his mutation was insane. He's not really good without it. Boss, he literally became the icon of teaming. Fang, one of the most toxic brawlers in the game. Eve, she literally doesn't have any good skins. Janet, do you guys know that she's just 16, right? Otis, one of the most forgettable characters, released in the most forgettable season. Buster, he has one of the most boring designs in the entire game. Gray, a really creative super with the best basic attack sounds. 
RT, the cutest brawler in the game, who had the worst gadget before they changed it. Willow, her super is useless almost everywhere besides showdown, and you miss it half of the time anyway. Doug, his super literally revives you, yet he is so weak. Chuck, you see him in every single heist match, but never anywhere else. Charlie, the other half of the community is down bad for her. Miko, the most annoying character in the game, yet he's still somewhat balanced. Melody, she has the most unique design in the game I guess. Lily, she was really weak since release, got a second ammo slot, now she is cracked. Spike, Supercell's favorite child, also his description is really weird. Crow, in 2019, everyone wanted Supercell to buff Crow, recently everyone wants a nerf. Leon, he was never a weak character. Sandy, at first, everyone thought he's a girl. Amber, why have 3 ammo, when you can have 40? Meg, she needed 2 reworks to be good. Serge, the coolest character in the game, with a really interesting super. Chester, he has one of the most useless star powers in the game, and for some reason they didn't change it's in his rework. Cordelius, he's actually one of the most creative characters in the game. Kit, he was the most anticipated brawler in the game, yet now everyone wants him deleted. Draco, to be honest, he is just a combination of Meg and Amber. Barry, despite what people say, he's actually a likable character with an interesting kit. Clancy, he has potential to be a liked character, his kit is very unique too. Can we get much higher?